What's up guys, Zaf here back with some more on Muji and uh, today I'm going to show you guys, well maintenance is in a few minutes so I'm going to show you guys uh, a few popular teams that people use in PvP so you guys at least have something to watch while you're waiting for maintenance to be over, right? Uh, we're going to go to Realm Rates um, I'm not sure whether we're, I'm, I'm just going to go over some teams right? First team, most popular team would be Double Pull Double pool would be Kamaitachi, Bunny, Zashiki, and two DPS. All right. Usually, what people would do, they'll 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 bring like a faster Ibaraki, and then after that, um, someone to clean up. The cleanup can be Utengu, it can be Yotohime, it can be Ubume, whatever it is. Your first DPS can also be Utengu or Ubume or or whatever it is. But uh, I think uh, in, in this situation, I think Ibaraki is the best first DPS and you put the shadow set on him and he will deal hella damage. Like um, hopefully this guy's tank uh, Ibaraki is faster. Let me try. Let's let's try and see how it works. Right. Oh no, I'm slower. Okay, fail. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> okay, this is not working out how I wanted it to work. But yeah, never mind. We'll quit this. We'll find some other guy to 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 screw over. It's, uh, it's okay. This one. All right. I don't. Know. I think maybe she's got Darumas. He's got Darumas or something. Um. All right. Cool. Here we go. This is how the team works. Got manual on the first puller pulls. Then you've got your bunny, who is the second ATB buffer. So she pulls, then uh, you got Zashiki off. Ah oh, man, my, yeah, man, I'm just gonna like do a single target there. So let's just assume that didn't happen. Let's just say Ibaraki is here. So Ibaraki would then hit this bunny for hella damage. There you go. And then you would either give it to your, then Kagura, no sorry, then your second DPS moves. And then you can use Kagura to give, you know, turn to anyone, let's say, I'll give it to Utengu and Utengu goes here, but, but you get the gist of it, right? God damn, I have really bad examples. I don't know why mine was faster. Okay, next. Next popular team. Um, I know we're going to lose again, but I'm just going to show you guys the team. I'm not going to like put it out. So the next team would be same, same team. All right, um, we're going to switch to Seimei. Similar team, okay, which is you have an ATB buffer. Then we have this is called Fire Rain. We will have Amiona. So this one requires slightly higher stats. Uh, then we have um, Hoga. All right, this team I cannot show you guys because I've not fully built it. Right, I'm just showing you guys the lineup. So this is called Fire Rain. What happens is you need a fast Kamatachi. Uh, this is to counter. This this is a CC team. To counter counter comps, all right. So what happens is Kamaitachi is the first attack bar buffer. He's the only attack bar buffer here. So what he does is he brings up the attack bar by thirty percent. So after that, you need your Amiona to move. So Amiona needs to be about seventy six percent of Kamaitachi's speed, right? So Amiona, you can like soul her up with Azure and Dice Sprite. No, no, Sea Sprite. I think the one that has effect hit fifteen percent. So speed effect hit HP will work all right uh, as long as you have 76% of Kamaitachi speed and if you have a lot of effect hit because uh, what she does is she dis uh, she dispels and also you want her to slow down the the enemies so after Kamaitachi moves Amiona moves and then you can have Zashiki move and then Hoga will move Hoga will move like we'll, we'll go over her skills after this like can we go over her skills now right we can we can Okay, so Kamatachi pulls. Then we will have Amiona. Like this, disregard my Amiona souls because they're not like I, I don't even have them sold out. All right, but here's what she does. Um, she dis uh, she has a ceaseless tears become rain that has a 50% plus effect hit chance of slowing all enemy speed by 10. So this actually this, this slow actually becomes 100%. Right and uh, what's this? And the slow becomes twenty speed once you have it fully skilled. 
and then chance of dispelling up to four of the debuffs on all allies which is pretty cool like if, if you're a debuff it's pretty cool to have all right so she's quite an essential unit to have i mean moving forward this she will be a very essential unit to have so what she does is she so once you have that and she'll put debuff the slow debuff on the enemies then we'll have hoga move hoga which is phoenix right so what you want for phoenix is you want speed lots of speed you want her to be like one speed slower than amiona which is again 76 percent of kamaitachi so amiona uh, hoga has to be like the 76 percent of kamaitachi speed um Hoga, uh, sorry, Hoga has to be 76% of Kamaitachi's speed. Hoga has to be, uh, Amiona has to be one speed off Hoga. Oh my god. Wow, well, hopefully you all got that, right? But what she does is, she has this um, AoE attack, you know. She summons the, the flames of the Phoenix to damage all enemies, dealing um, damage equal to 99% of her attack, which scales up here, and grants a 25% chance of taking one extra action when launching a critical hit, right? So you're like, so what? But look at this passive. The weak will be burned will be turned to ashes amidst the flames. 50% plus effect hit chance of inflicting days on target for one turn when attacking a target with a debuff. So when we have that speed pool, right, then Amiona plants the debuff on all the enemies. That's why you all need the, the, the full like effect hit on this. So like lots of effect hit. So what I've got here is um I've got this effect hit. Like I haven't powered it up, obviously, but yeah. Basically, I, I want her to also crit, so that's why I have the Seductress offset. Then I've got the Azure set for the extra effect hit 15%, and also to get like some uh, orbs at the start of the turn. I mean, once powered up, then this would probably be like, I don't know, probably be 100% effect hit because this will be 55, so another 45 there. 45 plus 34 that I have would be 79, and I'll probably have some sub somewhere around there to bring it up to like 100% effect hit or something, right? Uh, so what she does is then she then dazes everyone that has um, a debuff but of course this can be resisted so that's why you need high effect hit but in most cases where I brought my team and I was I fought against a counter team that brought this fire rain team this particular team that you have here these five guys most of the time I'm <coughs> I'm dazed dazed is stunned Daze is a very powerful debuff in this game, alright, because it's difficult to to get out of these, right? So after that's done, you can then use your DPS to attack them, alright? And I mean like before the DPS, Zashiki will move to give more orbs and then your DPF the DPS attacks. Uh, but before DPS attacks, Sami will be there to like buff the either you to, to buff the attack of course of, of your DPS then uh, you can just repeat the process over and over again because they would they would still be in like a day state right next team that we have would be the counter team a counter team relies heavily on shuzu we have it we can have shuzu there then you can put any healer that you want but i think the best would be ibisu in this case then you can have your dps i think between Inugami and Shuten, I think Inugami is the core of the, the counter team because of his passive. Which we can show here. Protection. Uh, was it Sword Flurry or Protection? Something like that. I think it was Protection. Um, Inugami protects half of his allies, prioritizing those with the least HP, and launches a powerful counter against any enemy who attacks the allies. Multiple Inugami only trigger the effect once. So, if you have multiple Inugamis, it doesn't make sense. You know, you you know, you just just use one Inugami is fine. Dealing damage equal to 110% of his attack increases Inugami's attack by 30% of the target enemy's attack after he counters, up to 210% of Inugami's basic attack until he takes his next action. If you watch the video, me fighting Mega Shields, Inugami counted from like 10k to 20k. Like the the harder your enemy. Uh, the, the better the enemy is sold up like the more he will hit for and this one is an AOE attack so he does like five five strikes and all but because a counter team doesn't really have many orbs because you'll be running Shuzu you'll be running Ibisu like the only person that brings orbs is Ibisu but let me just finish up the team the team will consist like my counter team will, will look like this right if you don't have shooting Doji 
you can use Vampira. Where is she? You can use Vampira. This team works equally fine. All right. You can also not use Hito. You can use Momo. Will also work fine. Instead of Momo, you can also use um, some other variations of the team. Let's go to ours. You can use Amiona here. This will also work. All right. This 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 is actually one good team. You can also use Samurai Axe here. Hey, no, sorry. Where, where is Samurai X? Samurai X also works. Like all these variations work. So basically, it's two DPS, one healer, one damage mitigator, as in Shuzu, like she will link. So basically, you need Shuzu to be hella fast. She's really fast. She links everyone. Then you want really tanky Ibisu. And you want um, standard attacker souls on Inugami. Standard attack souls would probably be. Let's let's go through that. You know, let's frequently ask questions like, what's a standard attack soul? What 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 souls should we have for attack? Uh, sorry, what happened there? Let's go to all. What happened there? Shuzu is there, right? So basically, this is how a variation of a counter team would look like. This is also how a team would look like. This will also be how it would look like, right? So standard attacker souls will probably be something like this. Have a look at my shooting. So it would be attack. How do I move that? Attack. And then we probably have crit here. So it can be crit rate or it can be crit damage. You can change the crit damage once you have like 100% crit rate and you can support your crit damage. I mean, you can do it at 80%. I know most games, 70%, 80% is good enough. But in this game, it seems that people who have 90 plus crit rate still find difficulty critting like most of the time. I have friends who complain and say that, uh, you know, even with 90% crit rate, it's not critting most of the time. So yeah, so standard attack souls are attack, attack, crit rate. But however, in a counter team, you can also do like attack, attack, HP or attack, HP, crit rate or attack, HP, crit damage. You know, however you want to play with. All right. Ibisu is standard. Um, you know, he's a healer. You can put triple HP on him. Effect res is probably good. Shuzu, you want her to be really quick. Um, Vampira or Shuten, whoever your next damage dealer is same same souls as your same souls as, as what I said to shoot in Amiona simple you know she's a dispeller so you want her to be fast like exactly like Hoga speed effect hit that's the two main stats you want for her right what other popular teams are there ah, I think that's about it like um, then there's Shuzu variations I mean this is the two teams that like sorry three teams that we have double pool Fire Rain and a counter team. And then you also have your mixed variation teams. Now, I'm talking about what's currently in the game now. Moving forward, there'll be more teams to work with, which I don't even know myself. I'm just like reiterating what people are saying. So moving forward, you will also see teams like uh, you. No, not moving forward, but currently you will also see teams that use. Um, I use this team sometime, like some weird team com, right? Like um, I would use Kamentachi. I would use Utengu. I would use Shuzu, then uh, I would use, uh, what do you call this, uh, Zashiki, and I would use Hito. Alright, uh, this team is pretty popular, some people don't use Hito, they will use a Momo. Alright, so what it does is, uh, again, your attack bar buffer pulls, and then Shuzu links, and then uh, you try to withstand the damage from, from people, and basically if someone dies, then Momo is there to bring them back. However, this team is... I don't know, my, mine's not so good because I don't have them sold out. That's why I keep using my double pools. So yeah, guys, that's all the um, variations. Let's let's go through it again. First variation is Kamaitachi, Bunny, Zashiki, and Dual DPS. Right? This is what a double pool team looks like. Okay, it could be it could be Ubumi, it could be Baraki, it could be Otengu. Uh, and then we have the Fire Rain team which you don't have your second bunny there you don't have bunny there it changes to um, Amiona and Hoga and this is how a uh, fire rain look fire rain team looks like and then we have your counter team which was the Shuzu Shuten Inugami I still think that Inugami is like the key in the counter team or anything else like this is how a counter team will look like one variation two variations 
three variations. So you swap in between um, Amiona and Samurai X depending on what the enemy brings. Because uh, this team, you can just basically like bring out. Uh, and, and this team, how to fight it is using the firing. And how would you resist that firing? Well, you can stack up effect res. Like uh, if you watch Mega Shields, the video I did about uh, Mega Shields counter team, they, he's got like a hell of lots of um, effect res on him, you know, to resist uh, CC teams. Another way to defeat this team will also to bring Yao Bikuni, which I've tried, but that one is not so reliable. You know, it's not 100%. Uh, why do people use Samurai X? Samurai X people use because he can taunt so when he's faced when you can also bring like samurai axe against a, a counter team or a, against any team actually if you're fast enough then samurai axe works but yeah this is pretty much all the teams that are currently in the game um what have i been up to i have been just farming the whole day the, the whole day yesterday i've just been farming uh, i've been getting all my darumas up trying to make my ibaraki Let's just smash this team one time. Hopefully we can smash it. Like if we can't smash it then rip, right? Uh that's my team. Come on, bunny. Sash. I didn't even see what he brought. Just bring he too. So yeah. That's uh, all the popular teams currently in the game. I hope this video helps. If it does help, do leave a like, comment and subscribe. And happy waiting for maintenance, you know, like um, it's not the end of the world. There's other games you can play. <laughs> There's other stuff you can do in real life. So I'll see you guys back in the game in a few hours. This is Zaf, signing out then.